Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. This is an AFK fish farm tutorial. Now currently at the time of recording this we're sitting on snapshot 16w33a for the Minecraft 1.11 version. And if you don't know in this snapshot Mojang have made a change that breaks pretty much all previous AFK fish farms and that change is that you can no longer spam right click on iron doors and or iron trap doors like you could do in the previous versions. If we try and do it now with our fishing rod we cast our line and then reel it back in. And the fish farms use, use that mechanic so that um, as soon as a fish bites, so to say, then you will reel it into your hoppers or whatever uh, straight away. But the uh, this mechanic, this new change, was not affected on fence posts. You can see we can still do it. We can still do it with our fishing rod as we could do with iron trap doors in the previous versions. So there's still hope for AFK fish farms and that is what I'm going to show you today. This is my new 1.11 uh, AFK fish farm. It is one, two, three, four, five, six uh, long, one, two, three, four deep, and one, two, uh, one, two, three wide. And I didn't count this uh, block over here because this is just the entrance I quickly put together and is not actually part of the farm itself. So let's take a look at this farm in action, shall we? We have two chests over here up front. One is your output and one is your input for your fishing rods. And to use the farm, you're going to want to fill up your inventory with any old block except one of the hotbar slots over here. There you want to have a fishing rod and the farm will automatically give you a new fishing rod once the previous one has been broken in the process of AFK fishing. So you just want to open the door, walk straight in, close the door behind you because you don't want any mobs sneaking up while you're AFK fishing. Uh, unflick this lever, now we'll turn on the farm and go AFK looking straight and holding right click at this fence post over here. There we go, and now we just gotta wait and see if fish will bite. And there we go, we caught a fish. Cool, and the farm automatically resets itself like that. And if we look in here, there's our fish. So to build this farm, you're going to need a three by six area and the following resources I have here in this chest, including a bunch of building blocks of your choice. In this case, I'm just gonna use some iron blocks. And uh, the input for the fishing rods, you're going to need one chest, but the output for where the fish are gonna go, I'm going to leave up to you. So you can hook that up into anything you want. So go ahead and gather all these resources and uh, we'll get going. So let's start building, shall we? The first thing you want to do is get your droppers, break this block, place a dropper facing up and another dropper facing towards you. Break this block, place a hopper facing into the bottom dropper with a carpet on top of that hopper and a carpet on top of that dropper. Then you want to break this block over here at the side, place a hopper going into that hopper over there with a chest on top. Behind this um, dropper, you want to have a hopper going uh, sideways. This is going to be your output and what I did over there is I just had it going like this leading into a double chest over here. But what you can also do is save on a hopper and make this going facing down and then your hopper or uh, output can be anything underneath over here. But for now I'm just going to have what I did over there at the other setup with two chests just like that. So next thing you want to do is behind this hopper place a cobblestone wall like so and then on top of this carpet you want to place a block with your trip, trip wire over here. Then way over here at the back another block with a trip wire over here with a string connecting both of them like so. Now you want to place a few full blocks. You want to put a full block here and there and here like so and there and the sign on top on or not on top on the side of this block over here but now it is time to do some redstone so we're going to start off by adding two more solid blocks over here place your lever in the middle one and place three redstone dust on top like so and then you want to place two repeaters one over here and one over here place this one on three ticks and with another three redstone dust like so so one two three and then we're going to go a block down, place a comparator. And if you're wondering why we're going to make this a comparator is because if you accidentally right click uh, the comparator from over there where you're AFKing, you won't harm the uh, farm. And if it is a uh, repeater, then you will mess up the delay, which we don't want. So we're just going to make it a comparator running into a block with a redstone torch with a block on top. Then two more redstone dust over here with a redstone repeater set to the default delay. Uh, going into a block and make this one, make that block over there, make that a stone slab like so. 
with a redstone dust on top like so. Last but not least, you want to place a redstone dust over there, can't forget that. <laughs> and as you can see, we actually already started off the clock, so just flick that to turn off the farm like so. Then you want to place a sticky piston facing upwards over here. So let's break that, place a sticky piston, it already extended, place your fence post on top like so and last but not least you want to place your water shorts like so and there you have it that is the farm the redstone everything done all right that's gonna do it for this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have make sure to click on that like button and if you're new to the channel then why not subscribe for more amazing videos take care guys i'll see you next time bye bye